Africa is the land of my ancestors. My name is Simon Senkai, a Ugandan, an African, who believes that the world has a place for us too. Young people in America, Europe, Asia, grow up talking and thinking about their country's dreams. They are taught and nurtured deep inside that the prevailing circumstances have nothing to do with their destiny. They are taught each time that the power to become anything in life is within them. Above all, they are reminded every day that what lies behind them and what lies before them are tiny matters compared to what lies within them. It is in this regard that they work hard every day of their time, regardless of the magnitude of the circumstances they face, to be the people they want to be. This is how they've been able to change their continents into the world's envy. On the contrary, children in Africa are born on the other side of life. They are taught by nature to be submissive to the world and they usually give in to those perceived to be strong. Our society doesn't give us anything to believe in, to dream about, to think about and to live for and fight for. Our dreams are made small by circumstances and this has seen majority adapting to the concept of survival. Every day I wake up in Africa, my television, my radio and newspapers and friends remind me that I live in a third world nation found on a third world continent. This has forced many to deny their origin, refusing to accept that they are Africans and considering themselves different from others. It has further forced many to disintegrate into small groups of common interests, leaving the rest to grapple with challenges bigger than their capacity. It is today in Africa that you find nations refusing to come together as a continent to tackle our challenges, but instead remain selfish. Today people call themselves East Africans, West Africans, South Africans, North Africans and Central Africans. We even ignore each other. What happened to the African dream? What happened to the African spirit? We all forget one thing that binds us together. We are Africans at the end. Every day, I ask myself, I'm sure you also ask yourself this question. Don't I have a dream to believe in as an African? I am told I live on a third world continent, which means I live a third world life, go to third world institutions and read third world information. And so my understanding is third world. We do politics of the third world, economics of the third world, and live a social life of the third world. I don't want you to care much about those calling you a third world citizen, for they know not about the power that within us. For I believe that my thinking, my understanding, my purpose or destiny are never third world, but first world. If this is true, then Africa must change into a first world continent, because you and I live today. This starts with you and I today at this very moment. The rank of our continent in the world has demotivated many demoralized many and forced many to give in and give up on themselves and our continent too. I'm here to reaffirm it to you that the rank of Africa's economics has nothing to do with our ranks in the world because the African dream lives today. I believe in the African dream, a dream that looks at opportunity not defined by boundaries but by one's will and potential. I believe in the African dream where hard work and smart work pays, where caring for one another isn't an option but an obligation, where I am because you are and because we are, therefore I am. I believe in the African dream, where all nations, regardless of color, religion, ethnicity, economic status and political stability, come together to worship the sun for the light during day and for the moon for light at night. I believe in the African dream, one that was shared with Nelson Mandela, whom the whole world celebrated for his rare and unusual character. I believe in the African dream, one that has been shared with Africa's great leaders and great heroes. Thomas Sankara, Marcus Gavi, Julius Nyerere, Uzemprah Hale Selassie. I believe in the African dream, where you can amount to anything you want in life. Not because the environment is conducive, but because we believe that struggle ultimately shapes and defines peace and success. This is the African dream that I believe in. I believe in the African dream that says your success isn't defined by your color, but by your passion. Your winning isn't shaped by the African lines of boundary, but by your will. Your future isn't determined by which part of Africa you live, but what you choose to do today. Your life is achievement won't be stopped by the rank of your country's economy, but your attitude towards life. Your tomorrow isn't shaped by your yesterday, because you are not made by history, but we can make history. I believe in the African dream, and this is the African dream that I believe in. There exists an African dream, one that can launch you to the world dream. One that has launched so many African heroes to the world dream. This dream, the African dream believes in you. This is the time for your awakening and, and remind all African young boys and girls in the whole world that we too can be great and can succeed in our chosen path. 
We can be anything if we choose to. We can realize our gifts and exploit them for the better of others. We can dream big enough. We can finally live these dreams. And that our lives and those of our neighbors can change if we choose that path. And at the end of it all, the ranks of our country's economies has nothing to do with our ranks in the whole world. And that such challenges as illiteracy, poverty, wars and diseases all can be reversed and all can be fought using our power. You can be what you want to be. I tell you, you're going to make it just like other people have made it. Just like African heroes in business, health, innovation, leadership and creativity. Let's believe and have faith in the African dream. Do not look at where you stand today. Focus on where you want to be tomorrow. Don't fight for what you see outside your life. Struggle for what you see inside your life. Do not worry much about the challenges of today. Worry much about your failure to play your part. Do not give in to the frustrations and disappointments of today. Give in to the passions of your heart and into the service of others. Do not fight to kill your brother and your sister for what you're seeking individually. Fight to destroy what is destroying us as a family. That is anger, hate, greed and selfishness. Do not destroy yourself with drugs. Equip yourself with knowledge. For knowledge is power and information brings transformation. Don't use guns and bullets to bring about change. Use your books and knowledge to change the world. Don't waste much time on what it is. Focus on what should be. This is the African dream. This is the dream that I believe in. This is the dream that lives in the souls of our ancestors. And I'm here to let you know about the rebirth of the African dream. It is a life in our time. And so let's affirm our faith in unity. We are young Africans. We are world citizens too. We deserve to live and our life is worth like any other persons around the world. We simply desire to live in a free society where our future isn't shaped by the nightmares of the day, but by the hopes and talents that do reside in each of us. We believe in the African dream as a gateway to the world dream. This is the power of self. Keep your eyes open, share this message. Repeat it several times and pick the message the African dream is giving you. For this is the mighty reawakening of the African dream.